The Elder Tree Project is a three-year region-wide writing project from Writing East Midlands where we enabled professional writers to work in various different settings, so community settings, um, hospitals and care homes and in online settings to work with people aged 55 plus to empower them to tell their stories and write about themselves um, and their communities. Each residency involved a lead writer and a shadow writer for 10 weeks. This long form residency allowed them the time and space to really get to know participants, um, to understand them and also to empower them to take their um, work and their interest and their creativity in the directions that they wanted to. I worked as a shadow writer on the Elder Tree project. I shadowed Michelle Mother Hubbard and we worked at Gregory House. Sometimes they tell you a little snippet and then like two weeks later you get the snippet plus a little bit more and then it expanded into a bigger story and a bigger story. And this is the Gregory book that we produced. I'll read you what it says on the back because it's lovely. Can you remember nostalgia? It's part of growing older. We tried to write looking to the future but slipped back into the past where it's comfier. So the origin of this book was that they wanted to leave uh, a legacy for future generations of how their lives had been in the past. But yeah, it's got good advice in there, especially about sausages. The aims of this project were to foster connection, uh, reduce feelings of loneliness and improve well-being. And this sort of took on even more urgency once the pandemic hit and we all found ourselves without those senses of connection that we perhaps have in everyday life. Just having a little bit of stimulation and extra impetus gets your mind active and gets you more creative and it's very important for your well-being. So yeah, I think it's really important. As part of the Elder Tree Project, we commissioned Graham Elston to produce a sculpture that reflected the ethos of the project. And what Graham has produced is an incredibly beautiful tribute to all the residencies that we hosted. I was commissioned by uh, Writing East Midlands through the Elder Tree Project to come up with a, a piece of work that was a visual representation of the project as a whole, really. The sculpture itself, I wanted to work with wood. I also work with technology and interactivity, so I was keen to combine the two into a sculptural piece that was uh, relating to the structure of a tree, but very much to do with the roots of that tree, because I think there's something fascinating about that aspect, uh, as well as the growth upwards. It's about where those are linked to the earth, really, and where those come from. places on the sculpture that you can touch and in touching the sculpture you unlock these voices and it would be really nice for the participants to hear their words and hear their voices um, coming out of such um, a beautiful object, a beautiful sculpture. Stones or ducks, keep a smile, have a laugh, enjoy a nice bath. It hops from twig to twig, made its nest in a rhubarb tree and whistled like a pig. <laughs> Shining, shimmering sands. Salt and vinegar flavoured kisses. We heard the sea first. Then the gulls felt the moisture of waves boiling onto the beach. I wanted to make something that was very tactile and each point that you touch has a sound or a um, mostly it's words it's it's poetry it's readings it's writing again talking about the roots of really of people's lives when the pandemic hit we had to rethink all our plans for the project and many of the residencies in 2020 and 2021 took place online rather than in a physical space but graham and the writers worked really hard to make sure that the project continued to reach and to engage uh, older people uh, as the need for connection took on this new urgency during lockdown i think the the sculpture itself is i think something that actually needs to be experienced it's for people to discover so it's people discovering something about another person. <laughs>